Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, so today we're gonna be fishing with the Inu rig. I took it out to the pond and had some pretty interesting results. But before we get into this video, uh, I just wanna give y'all a little too long didn't read. So in case you don't actually wanna watch the whole thing, but you still wanna know like how the Inu rig did for us. Uh, so first things first, I made some changes to it. So this is what I used yesterday. This is a zoom trick worm. Don't use a zoom trick worm. They are so thin that like when they get, when they go into that little S shape, they don't come back out of it because there's not like, the plastic isn't thick enough or like rigid enough to like spring back to its original shape. So you wanna use a Sanko or something else that's like thick, maybe like a Magnum tri Trick Worm. I've never tried a Magnum Trick Worm, so I don't know, but you want a thicker soft plastic. The Sanko worked really well, highly recommend a Sanko. So for the too long didn't read, this thing got a ton of bites. I'm, I mean, they were freaking biting this thing, guys. I got a ton of bites, but the hookup ratio is awful and I, I know why it's awful so the hookup ratio is bad because when you get a bite like your your top hook which fish naturally inhale baits head first this is like the head of the sanko it's moving like that so when they inhale it this top hook is not tied to your line it's it's like free moving that way the line can like go back like that so when you set the hook your entire worm has to compress like this to get tension on the line in order to set the hook. So you basically have this entire like curled up Senko, which acts as like a spring. You have your line pulling on that spring and then hitting your hook. So the, the power that you actually get in your hookups is greatly reduced. So I don't know how to address that issue. I'm gonna experiment with some stuff and probably post another Inu rig video, but the hookup ratio on this thing was terrible. That being said, did catch some in one that was freaking incredible. So stick around for this video. I also just want to say a really big thank you to everyone that supported the last video I posted. I mean, that thing's been, that video has been up for like literally one day and it's already my most viewed video. So I just want to say thank you so much to all the new subscribers and everything that supported that video. I, I really appreciate it. All right, so let's jump into this one. Y'all, I don't know what happened. It was 70 degrees yesterday. Now it's 50 today, it's freezing. So check this out. This is the Uno rig I'm fishing with today. I've made some changes. So number one, I'm using smaller hooks than the how-to video I made. Uh, more finesse style. Also, I'm using plastic straws now, as you can see. I super glued those in, and I did not put a tube through the last part. I just pushed the hook straight through there. So that's what I'm using, you know, rig. Okay, that looks kind of spicy. All right. Look at that, guys. I don't know, you'll probably can't see that, but I'm telling you all it looks good. Just believe me, all right? I got a full nail weight in there as well, instead of just a half. It's definitely catching a lot of grass, guys. I'd be interested to try this out with weedless hooks, see how that does. Oh, there's a dead crappy rip. Got one, guys. Oh, no, he came off. Oh, y'all saw that. That was the first fish I've hooked on that Uno rig. Didn't catch him, guys. Didn't catch him. Got one. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I just... Oh, I just lost a freaking decent one. Dang it. Dang it. I mean, hey, at least it's like getting hit, right? There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let him take it, let him take it. Got him. No! Oh my, y'all, I just freaking lost another one. Yo, y'all, I just lost two in a row, back to that cast. Okay, these are starting to pop out, that's not good. I did super glue those in. There we go, I just had a bite, he's still on. Got him, oh my gosh. Y'all, that, are you freaking kidding me? That's four, that is four fish that have come off. What is, what is happening? I mean, my Sanko's all ripped up, like, y'all, what's going on here? Y'all, what is going on? I mean, dude, it's, it's getting bites. It is definitely getting bites, but it's not getting hookups. Y'all, this thing is catching a whole lot of weeds, that's for dang sure.
got one. Oh, I got a good one. Decent. Little pounder. Little decent one on the Uno rig. So he got the, did he get both? He got, he got both. Yeah, y'all, he got both hooks. Maybe got one and the other one didn't. Have. Yeah, could have. That took five fish to catch one finally. <laughs> took five fish to get one hook. <laughs> Oh no, the back hook like wasn't even in. Oh. <laughs> it was like only only the front hook. Alright, that's the first bass on the Uno rig right there. Little three quarters of a pounder maybe. Yeah. Alright, see you bass. I just had one. I just had a bite, yeah. Wait, what? You caught a four pounder? You wanna weigh it? <laughs> Woo, five. buddy! Five, four, hey, look at that. I guess it's a five. Five younder. Here, you wanna take it? Freaking let's go, dude. That's a PB for half the people in the club. <laughs> freaking tank. Here, hold it like that for one of them. Yeah. It looks bigger. That's awesome, you dude. You know the way. <laughs> you know the way. That's freaking awesome. Five pounder out of a neighborhood pond. Dude, that's freaking awesome, man. All right, y'all. I switched up to this one now. This is a different color. Only reason I switched is because the last one got too ripped up. So let's try this guy out. Oh, let's go. DJ's hooked up. It's a toad. I got a good one. It's like a pound. Look at that, yo. Put it on the inner rig. Ooh, okay. This one got the back hook, look at that. Front hook's not even in him at all. Or no, excuse me, excuse me. He got the front hook. Yeah, that's the back hook right there. So he got the front hook. Yeah, he had the front hook. All right, look at that, guys. Nice little three quarters of a pounder, maybe. Something like that. Definitely should have thrown him farther, my bad. Threw him a little too close there. Okay, so that ripped, ripped my worm out, which really sucks. Let me try something. Let me just try to do this. Let me try to hook the worm through like this and see if that will like keep it together. Okay, see if maybe that works. So now I've got the back hooked rigged like this. Let's, let's see if that does anything. I just had a bite. Someone's just swimming off with it. Right after I cast it out, it was just sitting still and some started to swim off with it. And then when I, I pulled, it came out of its mouth. Man, it's up to you, man. I'm just here for the ride. You're just here for the ride for your drive. Yeah. <laughs> go that golf course. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, ho, little acrobatics going on. That ain't a bad one. That ain't a freaking bad one. Yeah, guys, so that does it for the Enu rig video. Uh, total fishing time was about 
hour and a half, hour 45 maybe. Uh, we were just at like a little neighborhood pond. It was decently shallow with a ton of grass and then I was using like dark blues. So a little bit of info for you. Um, as y'all saw, it got pretty good amount of bites in a short time. Uh, I was getting a bite at least every like 10 minutes. There's a few bites I didn't show off screen, but a lot of bites, terrible hookup ratio. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to experiment maybe with like thicker straws, like more like rubbery or something, kind of like that wire shielding I tried in the last video. Maybe something like that would help. Uh, but yeah, at least in this setup, I definitely would not recommend it just because of how poor the hookup ratio is. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure a wacky rig would have got at least most of those bites. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys.